I don't think he's going to, but it would be. Well, the guy he, one of the guys he started under is doing MMA, Gary yeah. Tonin. Nice. How's he doing? He he lost his first fight a few months back. It's almost like you just gotta keep doing it like it's jujitsu and like okay. But yeah, he's like second one. There you go. You gotta want to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. It's something to where, like, I feel like once you get into jujitsu, once you're like, you make the the commitment, like, oh, okay, well, I want to fucking try it, and I'm gonna get my black belt. You're just signed up for the horrible mountain, you know. Mm -hmm. How's your foot? Fine. Anything in particular? Roll. Uh, maybe in a little bit. Oh, but yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so like even here, Luke, like in, in this world of the game, using that other foot. So now he's got that one. Well, it's really harsh, right? Mm -hmm. And it's odd, and you know, you can keep putting yourself in another dangerous hole. But what happens is the guys get this, and the brain's completely here, versus like, bah! You know, start kicking them, moving that other leg. <laughs> you trained yesterday at M Theory? Uh, I actually had the day off, so I went to uh, a trainer in the day. In the last. Oh, cool. And I saw that, I, I told you this when it happened, this kid who won uh, Blue Belt Juvenile Worlds or whatever. Yeah. And we had like a really weird interaction the last time. <laughs> and he was there. I hadn't seen him in a long time. Nice. And we were all together. It was nice. It was chill. Nice. How old was the kid? Now he's probably like 23. Ah. Uh, I was going to go, but I ended up getting that train with Jimmy and Will. So oh, nice. that was like mid afternoon. We had to get the tub reglazed because of cracking around the drain. So that timing kind of put me at the center longer. And then Jimmy was going to let me shower at his place. And Will was there. He's hilarious, dude. Okay. He's at a, a place where, and too, how his brain works. He's like into all the new shit. Right, right, right. And it's like, bro, just like don't overwhelm your brain yeah, with all these options. Just get on the highway. Get good at something. Yes. Just move, 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 move. start to try to attach that shin to this. There's a lot of swing here. It's really weird. It locks up the whole body. And it, I think what it does is it isolates the leg and you get control from that lower part of the body and you get control of the high ball joint.
Goals, no rush, but right them out. Yep. Oh, and I was thinking about kind of the, the time signature of like when you'd have to do a counter in that move with Gordon Ryan or anything. It's like that time window and kind of like that that's micro and then a macro thing is your life timeline, meaning like, okay, at this age, you know, like right now at 49, if I wanted to be a professional motocross racer, um, nobody would stop me from buying all the shit and going and practicing. But you know, when I started to enter the reality by competing, it would become obvious if I was saying that it's not going to happen. But, yeah, I mean, time for everything, right? And it's like fucking being a physicist or a scientist or a fucking, you know, a, a lab rat. Like, this phenomenon of Gordon Ryan's fucking happening. And there's people that are trying to figure it out, right? But it's like, he's just fucking blowing every theory out of the water. And so it's going to be difficult to be like, oh, wow, wow, wow. But in five years, somebody's going to fucking figure that shit out. And it'll be interesting, like, what, what that is. And two, he could, you know, it could be an age thing, too. Or he said he's going to go to his point. Nice. So let's say that he does yeah, that. He, he says he's not at his peak yet. He says he'll peak when he's like 32 to 35. There you go. Is what he comes. What will his uh, entropy look like? Uh, on that note, I'll say he seems pretty like, for as like egotistic as he can be and everything, he like will actually give, he, when he's being objective, mm -hmm. he will get like, I saw one interview where he was giving Andre he wasn't like backing off shit talking Andre Gal at all, mm. but he was still giving him his due for nice. his accomplishment. And then he's when he talks about the future of the sport, mm -hmm. he talks about how how much better guys are gonna be in the future. Mm -hmm. Without seeming to be like taking it like personal or anything. There you go. Rather like he's a part of it. And then the time how do I say it? Now the time the other way. Like, here's this guy in his rain. Now, 10 out of 10 die. You know what I mean? Like, it blows shit out of proportion so you can get micro resolution on, on happenings and phenomenon of a guy's life or a guy's, you know, fucking six minutes success in a fight or the transition from being a fucking um, a neutral fighting event to this guy's now got 100% control. <laughs> All today? Yeah. Cool. The, have you noticed that Damien uh, customarily does like big promotions before the uh, end of the year or before the start of the new year or whatnot? Uh, yeah, he did last year. Cool. I'm not, yeah. I'm not thinking about that at all. Right on. I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm close to that for you. Or I'm close, but not like how long you been in Brown? I've been in Brown for a year. Maybe. I think the, the skill set's definitely there. 
it'll just be kind of his, his deal, you know? I would say inside the calendar year of 23, you'd have to fucking get it. Or there'll be a lot of complaining from other guys. Yeah, there's some black belts there that I'm like, like I don't, not like saying that any type of way, but like I'm fucking them up yeah. regularly. There you go. But then there's other ones where I just like can't crack. Like, sure. I've never been able to get them. <laughs> and I'll go into it with more confidence and I'll still get fucked up. Oh, but yeah, I rolled with Marcus the other night. Yeah. And like, God damn, he's so good. And, uh, <laughs> but you were saying how, like, asking him stuff. Yeah. Which I do. But, uh, like, how. Yeah, like, I could tell I wasn't, like, pushing him at least. Good, yeah. So. There you go. Yeah, make sure. And, and a good tell, and it's sometimes it's hard to do when the guy's gnarly because of reverence. But uh, when you're adjusting your belt, just kind of uh, gently lift the gaze of your eyes and scan their face. If they're sweating and they look a little bit different color, you won. Because they're working. Yeah, like a lot of times I know what he's going to do before he does it. He's just so good. He's just good. Nature shit on Instagram and this fucking old lion. Just fucking chilling. A male lion or a I believe it was a male. Had a big old mane. Yep. And the caption was, uh, you know, the end of an era or a, the death of a king. Mm -hmm. And you can see he's like lost a lot of mass and he just kind of oh, looks yeah. off camera and, uh, and he just bounces up 
lands on his back, and he's fucking shaking. And, you know, I imagine he's just having a heart attack. Yeah, he's dying. Hey. Heart attack. And I'm like, watch that, dude. That's it. And, uh, yeah. I mean, that's talk about time. You know? Like, uh. Brutal. Brutal food. <laughs> I don't know if it is. It's just a part of it. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely I you, right. I know what you mean, also. And that's how it should be. But our culture is so is. fucked. Yes. Like, if you're. And you know, we, like, crawl off. Like, a lot of. I, or, like, I'm not judging it because I want to live long, too. But, like, people will just be, like, fucked up and they'll, like, prolong <laughs> their life for, like, 30 years. And it's like. <laughs> hey. It's like. Yeah, just let it happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> or like they're on a medication that will like you know like make the quality of life so low that it's almost like what like yes. I'd rather just be off the medication like do my thing and just die. There you go. I agree. We fucking killed all the indigenous, you know, uh-huh. so we could have those machines run. <laughs> the industrial revolution. That's right. <laughs> it's constant. <constantly. laughs> You're absolutely right. Yeah, it should be like if everything was cool and we had the technology that we do now. It should be just a beautiful thing. Then there'd almost be like a smile on the face of the line, like, I get a heart attack. Yep. Put your brain in this one. When he's going here, get that one out of there. Yeah. Feel how your brain dumped in here? Now you're you're less than this one. Like every limb should be as sensitive as your nuts. Would be sexy, but uh, a jujitsu school huevos rancheros. <laughs> but I'm even huevos rancheros. <laughs> Fuck him up with that other foot now. He's going for that push, push, kick, kick, push, push, push. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Oh shit! Sorry. I'm upside down. Squish the bug. Check this out, you got your hook in it, I like it. But just play with it, release that left hook and push his head away from you and he's gonna fall and see where you land. And we'll go back and see what you like. Push his face. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, good. Start doing this little move if you get to guys half cars. Start passing shin on shin and lift up this part. Whatever is on the other side of the shin, but the cross them don't even pass. Just fucking tap them right there. Like, that kind of shit. I don't remember his name when he used to do it to me. Kind of a little group of guys, a little pod. Wanna be answer that cool guy. Yeah, they don't like fucking hair care product. You know, it's that same shit, dude. Crazy enough. You know, I just fucking trained really hard. Fuck, I... There you go, it's like that serial killer. 